Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at selling Discord access. We will do this in two different ways. We will invite somebody using an invite link, and we will also give somebody a role. You could use this, for example, to give somebody access to a specific part or channel inside of the server. I will be using a Discord store type on Tabex, but Discord can be used alongside other game servers. Let's first of all go to integrations and then go to Discord servers. I already have a server connected, but let's connect a new Discord server. So I'm going to give this a name. If you have multiple servers, I highly recommend giving this a proper name so you always know what Discord server is what. I'm not going to attach any packages at the moment. If you want to, you can select all or select individual packages. And then let's click on continue. We then have to install the Tabax bot to our Discord server. We can simply click on this pop-up. It should then show us on what account we are logged in. And at the bottom, we can choose what server we want to add the bot to. When clicking on the drop down menu, you should automatically see all the servers that you either created yourself or have the proper permissions to add bots. Let's click on continue, make sure everything is selected, and then let's click on authorize. Then make sure we are human. Well, it trusted us this time. <laughs> and then we can go to our server, but I already have Discord open over here. So on our server, we got a message over here saying that Tabax has joined. And on the right, we can also see that the bot or app Tabax has joined. On Tabex, we see it's still not connected because we need to link it to our Tabex store. So let's copy our secret key. Then we can do slash link. So let's select Tabex. Let's paste our secret key and then press enter. We should then get a message saying it's successfully linked to the server Discord TBX. And as you can see, that is the name of my store. In the top right, it now also says we are connected. So then there are two more things that I want to do. So let's go to the server settings. Let's go to our roles and then make sure that the Tabax role is at the top. You can click on members over here and you can see that the Tabax bot is indeed inside of the Tabax role. Let's then save our changes. Now Tabax can manage any roles that are under it. And then lastly, I want to run the slash refresh command and this will push all the roles and channels to Tabax. Inside of this channel, let's do slash refresh, enter. And it says, I've pushed all your roles and channels to your Discord store. So now when we create a package, all our channels, and roles should show up. If you add new roles or new channels, make sure that you always push these changes to Tabex. That way you can actually utilize them. So we've done everything. We are connected. Let's click on continue. Now we have saved that Discord server. So let's create a package. Let's create a new package. So it gave the package a name, a simple description. If this is an actual package, make sure you make a proper description what the package contains. I set the pricing to zero for now. And then at the bottom, we can add a deliverable. We are mainly focused on the Discord action. So let's add a actual Discord action. What do we want to happen when this package is purchased? We want to generate an invite link. We then select what server we want to execute on. So select the server you just created. If we want to, we can set an entry channel. If you have multiple, I'm just going to select general. Optionally, we can also set an expire date for this invite link. I'm going to leave this to never. And we can also set maximum users or enable unlimited users. Since I only want to invite one person, I'm going to leave the maximum users to one. That's all we need to do. So let's click on create and let's do a little test payment. Let's go to the dashboard. Let's go to the web store. Let's go to our packages and then the access demo that I just created. Let's add this to our basket and log in to Discord. So let's click on authorize. It says we need to fill in our email address. So our order is complete. Let's click on continue. And this is what the email will look like. The customers can click on the join Discord server button and they will automatically get invited to your server. It also notifies them that this will expire after one use. And alternatively, they can also manually copy and paste this into their browser. This is how you can use Tabex to offer access to your Discord server. But what if you want to give access to a specific part of your server? For example, a specific category or channel. For this, we need to do a little bit of work on Discord first. I'm going to keep it very simple. There are tons of Discord tutorials if you need more information on the Discord part. First of all, let's go to our server settings and let's create a new role. So under roles, we're going to click create role and then let's call this VIP, give it a nice color. We're going to say display this role separately from online members. So if I give myself that role, you can see I'm separated from the other online players. Now that we have that role, let's create a new category Let's also call this a VIP or whatever you want. And let's make it a private category. And then under roles, let's select that VIP role we just created. And then we can create that category. Let's also create a text channel inside of that category. 
We're also going to make that private. Again, select VIP and create that channel. You can move this up and down if you want to. I'm going to leave it here for now. You can see that this is a private category, but anybody with the VIP role can automatically see this channel. If you want to change any permissions for those roles, you either go to edit the role itself and go to permissions and set them for the complete role. You can also go to a specific channel, edit the channel. Then under permissions, you can also select the different roles that you have and set the permissions per channel or per category. Now that we have everything set up on Tabex, let's just go back to our package. So let's do the access demo and edit the package. We can add another Discord action. When the package is purchased, we want to assign a role to a customer on the server. We want to select the proper server. It doesn't show us any roles. We just created those VIP channels, etc. So let's do slash refresh to push the new information. So the new role, category, and channel to Tabex. Let's just remove this. So then we can click here. This will refresh this part. And now we can actually select that VIP role. We can then simply update our package. And that's all we need to do. This is how you also give access to a specific part of your Discord server. You can use Discord alongside your game server and also all the other deliverables that we offer. If you want to do some of the other Discord actions, take a look at the description. There will be a tutorial showing you some more of the Discord actions that you can do. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.